Lovely grandy dandy friendy bendies. It's time to do some snapping. We have just successfully uh hit pool two. Oh yes, we just hit the threshold of 214, and as if luck would have it, the two cards we've been waiting for the entire time, Angela and Captain America, were the last two to go. So what we've done is we've built a deck that does two things. The first thing that this deck does is it relies on the power of these cards, Kazar, to give one cost cards plus one power. Blue Marvel, your other cards have plus one power. And Onslaught, double your other ongoing effects at this location. It does all this stuff to really power up our one cost creatures and duplicate that distributed effect. So at the top you see we have a collection of one drops including Squirrel Girl that makes lots of extra one power, one cost squirrels. Uh, we also have an Angela we just unlocked to give a little bit of extra power growth as we're playing cards throughout. And of course Captain America to boost our swarm basically. Now we should probably have some more sensible card as the last one, but this comes to the second thing that this list is trying to do, which is to just do stupid shit with Morph. Yeah, yeah, I think that we all agree that this is a great idea and there's nothing wrong with it. Morph is the secret win condition? Damn right it is. As I've been doing at the start of these, I'd like to give another shout out to Jeff Hoagland, who, whose content I have been absolutely voring. Absolutely voring. Korg. All right. Let's do this and see what happens. Scarlet Witch, you got it. All right. Village player's hand with random cards. Move your other cards one location to the left. Cards player have 25 percent chance of being destroyed. All right, well, you know what? Let's kick things off with Morphin. We'll grow Angela and do something random, which is awesome. What's the Sandman do? <laughs> okay. All right, Hood. Add a demon to your hand? What are these cards? We're in pool two now, huh? Okay, bye-bye. Oh, shit. This is on reveal. Your opponent gains control of one of your other cards at this location. Sick. I'm not snapping. I'll do this. Oh my god, this is so sick. Demon. Oh, this is what the hood added in. Damn. I'm not entirely sure how I want to play this. It'll just make us both only able to play one card a turn. Seems like the most sensible thing. My opponent has Apocalypse. So, if I play another 7 on Triskelion, we fucking lose. How do we do this? Apocalypse is coming down. Can we win this side? I can only play one card a hand, though. Or one card a turn. 
So we're like super fucked. Let's buy Heimdall and do this. We'll definitely lose this. We'll definitely lose this. I need to retreat. All right, Morph was was trash there. I'm all right. Then we lose this one. Maybe win this one. All right, Captain America. Okay, I am immediately seeing cars that I don't recognize in the slightest. Frame break. Okay, so I immediately feel like Morph. Um, Morph was would have been better served as uh, one of our more useful swarm things. You know what? With this hand, I'm fucking here. Have a squirrel girl. Have a squirrel girl. AZ Drummond says the fill players cars with random was really the reason for new cars rather than entering pool two. I mean, I recognize that that was another contributing factor for sure. Like, but um, doesn't change the fact that I don't recognize any of this shit. All right, so let's go ahead and rocket raccoon here. I'm also gonna Ant Man here. I'm just spread myself out a little bit. Dusha. What does Captain America do? Captain America. So I want these two to be in the same spot together. Start of turn six, swap hands. Fuck. Captain America is a 3-3. Three, three. Or three cost, three power card that boosts all my other nerds by plus one. Woo, 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 woo. I don't know. Like this. Yeah. What does this one do again? Draw a copy of the highest cost card in your opponent's hand. Because now I'm going to get back the squirrel girl that I gave them. I think this is right. Machine World and Mindscape together is kind of hilarious. Yeah, I really like this little interaction. So we're going to know that at the end of turn, they have Onslaught and Alexa. Oh, fuck yes! It's Sanctuary! 123 months. What up, it's Sanctuary. You know, I, I think that the predictions were largely correct, that I'm probably going to be playing a lot more Marvel Snap in the future. All right, after turn five, move all cards here to other random locations. Oop. Let's go, Korg. Albatross Times is way more sticky than I thought it would be. Yeah, no, I a thousand million percent agree with this. I 
add a nine power monster here for each player. And there it is. I'll just bop Angela down over here. All right, this is the game. Pete repeats his love this game on the way to and from work. Dude, let me tell you, man. I wish America had better public transit, because this is the kind of game I would play the fuck out of here. Muir Island is amazing. For us. I mean, this is the most nutso outcome. Colossus can't be, like, moved destroyed mood or have its power reduced. We want it. Whoops. Can I undo the fact that I clicked past the turn? <laughs> well, you know, shit happens. This is Tilt Ing. There's no way to change this. Oh, fuck. All right, well, I guess this. Oops. I mean, it, it, it's looking good for us regardless. Rat. So this is actually looking like a loss for us, huh? Oh my god. Yeah, I, I'm just retreating. Okay, no, that, that, that was, as it turns out, just passing the turn on accident is just not is not good. <laughs> oh, morph? Hell yeah. It's morphin' time, baby. Alright. Next, let's do it. Don't skip turns. Got it. Yeah, Thunderball. Yeah, no, I got you covered. I'm here to here to help help everyone be a better gamer, as it would. All right, let's hit him with the rocks. I mean, just knowing I'm chucking a rock in someone's thing is great. All right, so you can be destroyed. Sure. Uh, I think I'm going to put the Angela here, and then, like, Squirrel Girl. Yeah, I, I think that in uh, maybe another 30 minutes of playing, I might just do another weird kind of little decoruha here. Oh, dude. Yes, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I will morph here every day of the week. Every day. My opponent didn't do a turn one play. My opponent didn't do a turn one play. Nothing but big stuff. Wolf's Bane? All right, what's in your hand? Oh, yeah. Jessica! All right, ongoing effects here are disabled. All right, well, let's just put this Kazar here. And then it's looking like I'm going to turn five blue marble here. And then probably do um, Squirrel Girl, Captain America, maybe just doubling down here. So 
I can even play the Squirrel Girl right next to Angela and have her swell properly up. Rawr! Punisher. Oh, shit. The space is lost. This is an insanely good draw. Abomination? Nine? Jesus. Wow. I'm the luckiest boy in the world. So I do this, I do this, I do this, I do this. Right? I mean, that's just... This is just disgusting. This is also part of the reason why I'm, I am I feel like maybe not even running a single turn six or a six cost card is going to be really good in higher end decks. Oh, whoops. Do I have time for this? I don't think it really matters that much. You know what? I'm snapping. I don't give a shit. I mean, this is ridiculous. Absolutely detonated. Splattered in half. Victory! Angie. Angie! Miss Angie! Frame break. Very cool. Interesting. Alright, after I get this next mystery card, I'm probably going to revisit this list. This morph is a little bit stupid. Like, awesome stupid, but like, confirmed dumb. No. What do you know? Look at the soul read, right in the middle. Here it comes. Okay. I'm sure I'd like this Rocket Raccoon fellow. I just should have played Nightcrawler. <laughs> Man, it's like, uh, Angie. Miss Angie. See? I knew that something was coming. Alright. 25% chance to be destroyed. Alright, well. I mean, come on. No coward. I'd never fear the danger room. I've never even begun to fear it. You know what? I'm snapping. Like, it's not an issue. Like, this this game is perfect for streaming clowns. This is so good. Oh, shit. I'm fucking actually so lucky. Uh, alright, so we're gonna do a little onslaught here. A little Ant-Man and Onslaught here to win Wakanda. We're gonna win Wakanda, it's like not a big deal. Alright, we're, we're bailing on Monster Island, for sure. It's arguable that I should actually just throw Korg in the danger room. Because with Jessica Jones on the left, there's no way I'm punching through. Yeah, I think I just should have shoved both of them in the danger room. Can I undo now?
Basically it, huh? Yeah, I needed to Korg and Nightcrawler on the right side. Odin in the middle would not save them. Gives them an extra 1-2. Odin totally saves him, doesn't it? But then my abilities are probably going to grow as well, and I can't keep track of that shit. I'm going to let the numbers fall where they may. Just going to let the numbers fall where they may. Alright, so I did the math. I did the math wrong. I'm I'm deleting this fucking morph. Morph sucks. Getting, getting rid of him. Flaming morph. Collect rewards. So I, I actually I'm gonna go here. So obviously morph out of there. You know, let me go back to here. Let me just upgrade some stuff. Yeah. Rocket Raccoon. I can't believe you'd blame Morph. I would. I would. I think Morph sucks. 3D. Very nice. Very cool. I, I can upgrade some of this shit. There's no way I can upgrade this. I wish it would just show me which ones I could upgrade. Instead of torturing me. Frame break. Frame break. Dude, we're gonna make we're gonna make the annoyer list. That's what we're gonna do next. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so sick. I just need to get deeper into pool too. Alright, mighty mighty morphin chat onslaught. Another one drop is good. What's going on here? Energy. Close. Mantis actually seems better than this uh, stupid rocket raccoon. And Yondu actually seems better too. Let me, let me go back to the list. I'm just going to do like this, right? This is just like good, cheap value, huh? Let's see what happens. Give me one of your cards. Give me one of your cards. On that note, the credits are about to slow way down. Dude. I can already feel it. Turn five cards cost one more. Fuck. Just gonna go ahead and spam these babies out. What's Cable do again? Cable is put the bottom card of your opponent's deck into your hand. Okay. I do this. Sentinel I found to be pretty fun.
I think I'm not gonna snap. I'm just gonna play out normally. I literally cannot remember what this fucking card does. Draw a copy of the highest cost card in your opponent's hand. So, I mean, they just literally have an onslaught. They have five cards in hand. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. All right. That is legit so fucking funny, man. Isn't this the win? Nice. Sick. Nice. Very good. Excellent. Perfect. More for is revenge. I don't need this nonsense. All right. When you play a card here, add a copy to another location. All right. I already have my idea. I already have my ideas. Plus one energy. Fuck, dude. Yo, dude, yo. <laughs> All right, there we go. Suck rocks. Here comes another one. Eat that. All right. See what's going on here with Jiro. I'm so confused. Dude, when you transition from pool one to pool two, you immediately like that the the style of game instantaneously changes. So my opponent will be able to play a turn four play. Also got a lot of rocks in there. Some shit like this. It's Jubilee do. Four negative two. Play a card from your deck at this location. Holy shit, Jubilee's fucking sick! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Dude, that's so good. I have no idea why they didn't Jubilee like right here, man. Snap. Snapping. Snap. Holy shit, are we about to get owned? My opponent was gonna play six costs around Sinister London.
What the fuck is going on? I, I mean, am I just gonna lose this shit? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Fuck. Undo all actions. I need to move this out of the way so I can- Ah, fuck. I fucked up. Dude, god damn it. 20 power come. 20 power card incoming. <laughs> 20, 20 power come. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, what is it? I mean, that's okay. What? What is this fucking card? Oh, shit. We actually still had a chance to win. Still had a chance to win if I'd moved fucking Nightcrawler to the other location. Rats. Curl the highest power here gets a little boost. You know what? Show me what you got. Can we run a deck called Morphin without the morph? Oh, dude, we're gonna. It's gonna be Morphin time soon enough. All right, uh, cards cost one less. Oh. 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 Squirrel in time. Hulk gets deleted, fuck yeah. Two night crawlers from Mantis, got it. Holy fucking shit, awesome. <laughs> Not very awesome with Squirrel Girl here. Uh These actually suck. What the fuck is this? I mean, that's the shittiest. If this is in your hand at the end of your turn, discard it. Four cards in hand? So that one's good to kill here. I don't know how not to just, like, fuck everything over really badly. Some shit like this, huh? Something like this. I have no idea. Alright. Opponent can't play cards this look opponent can't play cards this location next turn. Alright, great. Cool. Cool. I have no idea what's happening in this game. If any of you want to know, I don't know. That is a good draw. Something like this. Why not, huh? Why not? Appear to be pretty, uh, pretty fuck. All right, Kazar. Opponent snapped. 
I'm retreating. I'm losing one. I'm losing one. Alright. Give me this. What's hell? Plays the cards you discarded this game? Yeah, no. I mean, like, I, I can feel the weakness in this. You know what? I have some squirrels. Boom. Give a random card in your opponent's hand plus one cost. Holy shit! This card, Iceman is fucking bust oh good. Iceman is insane. Putting this here. Iceman is ridiculous. All cards must be played here. Why not? Why not? Look at us. We're swarming them. Chugging rocks at their head. Oh, didn't see what we killed. Nice. Dude, look. We zerged him. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Next time, I have some substantive unlock of missions of some other... What? Give me more missions. You fill the maximum number of times? Oh, get out of here. Yondu is clutch. What? You killed Killmonger would have nuked all your one drops. No way. I'm so sick. Cards here have one extra power. Mm -mm -mm. You know, it's squirreling time. Treat after having my Killmonger Yondu too. That feels good because I was feeling not confident at all. What do you know? So, Kazar Blue Marvel on the right, maybe. Yep, feels correct. We do one of these, and we do one of these, so we can always move the Nightcrawler. Got rid of Cable, which doesn't really matter. Cable will draw a card from our library, given some conditions. Sentinel. Woo, woo, woo. Figure says, yeah, this deck gets pretty wrecked by hobgoblins and pool too. Yeah, no, we I, I feel like we gotta make some some other magic happen. Electra picked off someone. I don't know who it was. Is that Yonda who was there? It was just a squirrel. That's that's good shit. Jessica. Alright, so turn five, gotta play here. So we actually have an interesting choice with Nightcrawler. Dr. Devil Sore. Superb. So, my opponent needs eight power here. We can actually probably win this by putting this one here and this one here, right? Because this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, uh, again, I need to unlock one more thing. I'm gonna, the next card I unlock 
we're going to build a deck with it. Next card we unlock. Turn force for all cards controlled by the losing player here. And a Mantis. Show me what you got. Yeah, I think that that caused us to win the right. And then it doesn't matter which one my opponent focused on for the left and the middle. We already have both of those. Zoom. A one cost to Power Ninja. All right, we're just going to do this. Gonna get Morbius. Ah, the brutality of Morbius. Scarlet Witch, sure. Turns into a new location on turn four. Sure. this one do at the end of each turn gain plus one power for each unspent energy oh this is an interesting that is an interesting card so this this could be okay Albatross Time says, so what's the name of the one mana black instant MTG that discards a select card from villain's hand? I don't, there is no one mana black instant that does that. This will always be a tiny baby. We win. The blue marvel. Wait, I did the math wrong in mid. Because if I move, I lose four. Oh, wait, this is fucking ongoing again. Oh! Oh my god, we still won. Victory. Jesus. I. 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 Keep thinking this is on enter, not ongoing. It's okay, we're fucking better. All right, so I just I just need to be able to upgrade one thing. Let's play with this a little bit more. Um, so if the first win condition is whoever wins more locations. The second win condition is whoever has more raw power. All right. Bang. Wolverine. All right, we've, we've, we've got a Wakanda. I mean, I may as well play this now and just hang out. Maybe, maybe, maybe over here, maybe over here. A little safer. Oh, I thought this was all a deathlock effect. I was like, damn, this deathlock hero goes out of control. Let's 
my opponent now has an onslaught. What's the right way to go about this one? This. Well, Sabretooth gets devoured, he goes back to the hand. I feel like this is basically the only play that we have. I think, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so they stack up on the left hard. We don't. We kind of bailed on that. What the fuck is this card? Holy shit, destroy all one cost cards? I can't I can't play this anymore. Holy shit, I need to build a new fucking deck, dude. There we go, finally an upgrade. Well welcome to pool two. Frame break, nice. Oh no, I'm at 221. Farts. All right, I'll run straight, st head first, directly into that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go for the gamble first. Oh yeah. I love that Electra kills like a single one one. Oh, shit, yeah, let's do, like, this shit. Then let's do this shit, because why not? Gotcha. I'm a new... Give me this. An Electra? Oh, fuck, yeah, dude. Killmonger's gonna get the meat hook treatment. That's pretty funny. If it did get detonated. I'm in... This is the most important location for us to win. I'm just gonna jam both over here. Avengers, assemble. assemble. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, fuck. All right. Uh, fuck. Oh, that's pretty hilarious. Alright. And armor... Protects everyone here. Armor Wakanda's the whole thing, huh? I mean, this, I mean, this is it. This is, this is... This is what we got. This is what we have. We really gotta, we really gotta like change some shit up here, man. All right. All right. Well. Oh wait, I could have played this Yondu here. Fuck! I am just making mistakes. Screw it, I don't care. We'll play for... We'll play for this. Oh my god, I just... Ah, miscounting. It's true brutality. Truly. True brutality. Should have played Yondo on the left. 
Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right, yeah, no, I'm I'm retiring the deck. I am Iron Man. Dude, we would we would have won the left. We would have won the left. All right, that's fine. Can't upgrade it. All right, we're built. We're building something new. It's time for a new deck. Uh, pool two, meta. Pool two, um, freshman deck. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a baby. I actually hate any reference to high school. So yeah, here. All right, that's good. That's a better name. All right, what are just some of our cool cards that we haven't done stuff with? What about this like discard destructo deck? Whoa! So this is discard the highest cost card from your hand. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it seems it's not great. How do I be as annoying as possible? Hell yeah. Get in here, Spider Woman. Spider Woman seems really annoying. Professor X seems just absolutely obnoxious. No, I think maybe White Tigress would be good here. Oh, this is awesome. Deathlock is going to be pretty good with what we're trying to do. This guy seems seems obnoxious. Let's get that guy there. Morph. Oh fuck yeah. Scarlet Witch, 100%. It's not even close. Yeah, let's just take some of your shit. Some armor, I guess. What are just cards that disrupt? Oh, of course. You need Electra. Oh yeah, Korg. Korg seems fun. This deck looks like it is built to try to annoy people. I think we have too many three costers. I think we need another. This this guy just seems sensible. So let's, let's put in a two cost annoyer, shall we? Yeah. Cable? What does Cable do? Do I have Cable? Oh, shit. Yeah, this is great. This is, like, really obnoxious. Scorpion is the best two-drop for this? Let's go. All right, so here, here's what we're trying to do. I have no idea. Whoops, sorry, everyone. I have no idea if this deck does anything of merit, but it does have a lot of things that seem, intuitively seem obnoxious. Hobgoblin? Oh, my. Hobgob. Yeah. 
All right. Spend 90 minutes being the annoyer. Maybe some of you will want to build me a list, huh? Maybe so you have a deck in mind. Uh, after four turns, all the cards move one location to the right. Yeah, let's take a peek here. What 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 do you got? You gonna show me anything? All right, damn. Maybe I should have waited, but that's okay. Well, how I wish I had waited. Scorpion, afflict cards in your opponent's hand with minus one power. What? Bastard. Give a card each player's hand one call. Oh my god, fuck. Can't even do anything. So you're suggesting him? Yeah, but I, I don't have Scorpion. I don't have this. When this is destroyed, create the Winter Soldier in its place. Let's transform, not destroy. Okay. All right, what a good dog. All right. All right, well, it appears we are super fucked. All right, this isn't doing anything. Wait, do we 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 have some good Spider-Man cards, right? We have we have some good Spider-Man cards. All right, Enchantress. Hell yeah. Wait, I want to see here. We 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 have Spider-Man, right? Let's just look up Spider. Click here, Spider. We only have Spider-Woman. Don't I have Miles Morales? Seems pretty good. All right, I'm removing this. I'm putting in Spider-Man. Hell yeah. Let's try Spider-Man. Cards with no abilities have plus three power. I don't even know what that means. All right, here comes Korg, being annoying. My opponent's gonna play here. What? Ebony Maw? You can't play this after turn three, you can't play cards here. I think I actually want to do on curve stuff, I think. I think. All right. Victory. We did it. I can't wait for some really insanely stupid hands. Oh, man. I think that, like, this is a bit of a pickle. We're like, I actually can't really grow anymore today, so I feel like I, I need to stop playing. What can you do? I mean, what can, what can you do? All right, we will cable if we're able. Uh-oh. See, Spider-Woman seems incredible. Ongoing effects are dumb.
I like an enchantress to really turn this shit off. Dude, Bucky Barnes. Oh my god. Oh, that's actually so good. Oh my god. My opponent departed. We, we're actually playing the game now. People actually fold now. Turn six. Dude, this... The way that this game plays out, now that I'm no longer doing, like, this one-drop Bonanza deck, I mean, this is wild. Give me a bunch of fucking rocks, really? Craven. Each card in your hand swaps its power and cost. Are we more for free, but we didn't have anything else to spend our mana with? What? Would you stop, dude? I mean, this is terrible for us. Plus five energy this turn? And then it just goes away? Get out of here. All right, I, I think I think that what I'm going to request. Oh, like that? All right, cool, yeah. Who wants to build me a deck that that knows what they're doing? Who wants to build me a deck that knows what they're doing? Because I am just hurling in cards that I've not really used. All right, come here. Are you fucking kidding me? I get another rock? This is so challenging. <laughs> Final turn. Oh, shit. We got an Enchantress. I mean, I don't know. I want to see this through to the end. Okay. Uh, Bmek, if if you wanna if you wanna give a suggestion, pasting a giant block of text with a bunch of ASCII stuff. It's not gonna be the way to do it. All right, let's hit next. Let's hit next. What I will do is I will, I will ask BMEC. BMEC. We're going to make a BMEC deck. BMEC's deck. All right. All right, what are you, what are you thinking, BMEC? What are you thinking? All right, so you're saying Ant-Man. Let's put in this Ant-Man because it's cool looking. And that's the only reason. Squirrel Girl, sure. So we only have some of these. Armor Colossus. All right, so we have Colossus. I'm pretty sure we have... There's Armor. Where's Colossus? Gotcha. Okay. Lizard. Oh, uh, yeah. Mr. Fantastic. Punisher. Do I have the Punisher? We sure do. Captain America. Are we going to clear this? Cosmo, Iron Man, Blue Marvel Spectrum.
So this just uses the one disruptor. So here's the thing. Uh, if you copy and paste what I sent, that's the deck. That's what I'm saying, BMIC. I'm not interested in copy and pasting. I'm interested in an interaction because most of the time when someone copy pastes a deck, I, I've just started pool two. We might have different cards, that sort of thing. So how does this how does this deck work? If if I wanted to just copy and paste the deck list, I wouldn't ask you. I would just Google it and copy it. So this is just lots of ongoings. <laughs> Cell phone ongoing. All right, let, let, let's give this a shot. All right, hell yeah. All right, here we go. All right, this is it. All right, here we go. We're going to hit play. Play with... All right, let's delete some decks. Yeah, this is this is not this PC client. This deck totally sucks. I should kill this one too. I like the Odin mid range. All right, and it looks like I can upgrade some stuff now. I mean, I gotta say the the interface on PC is as clunky as clunky can be. <laughs> Yeah, Spectrum I had a lot of fun with. Who's this? Vision. Move this each turn. Damn. How many hours have I put into the game? Let's take a peek. Uh, so if I go to here... 20 hours, 20 hours. It said native client is coming 2023, I believe. Yeah, no, I mean I'm not I'm not suggesting that they deliberately made something. Like trash. What the fuck is this? Oh, I see. Wrong deck. Yeah, no, I mean this it's it's very awkward. Alright, we we're losing some cubes. I hate that I have to click the button to discover that I can't upgrade it. It's like flashing, it's like, oh look, it went up, upgraded, and I click it. It's like you can't do that. <laughs> what? Oh, that's fucking sick. I've turned five of all the cards here. All right, cool. And this is can't be destroyed. So these are, this is some interesting defensive stuff. And I see so Spectrum at the high end. I get it. So we have a bunch of ongoing cards so that Spectrum can just power up the entire board. Angela. We'll put a lizard here, man. I didn't mathematize this.
correctly at all. Who are the Cosmo Spectrum Nonbo? Yeah. Flood this location. Next turn, this is the last card. Turns can be played there. Like this, I guess. I don't know. Actually, what happens when Strange Academy doesn't have stuff in it? Holy shit, I'm fucking sick. Holy fucking shit. I'm the best. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. I think Iron Man on the left wins it. Lord Coriolis says, I show up and there's a cat, it's a good day? Sure is. Oh, I see. If you pull that out of the way, then it... For some reason, I've been missing that Nightcrawler can just scoot. Victory! Victory. Alright, hey. Hey, BMEC. Dude, armor, armor's pretty nice. Do, 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 do. Dude, like, transition to pool two is, like, very, very stark. Go ahead and minimize this giant image. Look at me go. This is an on reveal. Give your ongoing cards plus two. <laughs> no cards are revealed this turn. Good, very good. So I can't do anything. Yeah, Cosmo stopping Killmonger winning it is sick. Oh, Joe Hester says the difference between pool two is very stark like Tony. Ah, you've done it now. <laughs> oh shit, man. I gotta drink more caffeine. Ugh. I'm just like a sleepy groggy bear. Pools determined by number of cards unlocked or by your rank. That there is a number called your pool collection. Excuse me, your collection level, your collection number. And your collection number unlocks pools for you. So your first 214 levels are pool one. Okay, yay. I'm gonna do this because their math will be wrong.
Wait, why is this guy so big? Why is he so huge? Wait, are we on the last round? What happened in my brain? Something... Something, something brained me. Merged? Oh, I see. I guess this is it. This is about what I have. Not gonna snap. Yeah, it's... This is a game where if you're looking away at the wrong time, stuff just happens. You're like, oh! <laughs> I just, like, can't quite... I think if you click on the location, it has, like, little histories. I think this is... I think this is correct. So many multiple men in my hand. Hi. Well, Heimdall is just a crazy effect. And I, I feel like I'm starting to wrap my head around Heimdall. If you have, you know, it feels like a lot of these decks have a big moment that they're building up to on their turn six. And so what you're trying to do is to like study what cards they're playing and estimate, oh, if they're running, you know, multiple man, then this means that they almost certainly have. Heimdall play coming up, given how they're playing. So then I would try to be playing around a Heimdall and trying to be playing around a, you know, Odin or any other such thing. I, I'm going to use the restroom real fast, so I'll just uh, be here. Uh, please enjoy. Please enjoy my cat. And I'm back. Why is it not focusing? It needs to focus. All right. Cards here are minus one power. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Bring back Despy. No, I'm not doing it, Lido. I am not doing it, period. Whoever's winning this gets plus three part of the other locations. Oh, shit, yeah. So we're going to we're going to armor up the Baxter building because I think that we can defend our nerds. Is this right? Am I doing this? Hey, let's turn sub mode off. Let's turn sub mode off. Anytime chat's getting a little quiet lately, we've been peeling off the submarino motoronis. Put a card from each player's hand here. Star Lord. Ants in a pants, man. Snap good? I mean, it's pretty fun. I, I mean, I bought the battle pass for 10 bucks. 
And that's it. That's all I spent on it. Azram says, the fact that unless you pour hundreds of dollars into the game, that it will take five plus months to unlock all cards kills me. But man, I love the game. I feel like my understanding is that if you are free or if you spend as much money as humanly possible, it's still some months. That is my understanding. That's my understanding. Yeah, if you spend like as much money as humanly possible, it'll still take a shitload of time. Oh my god, completely fucking detonated. Holy shit, dude. They snap here, huh? Yeah, I guess our composition of things kind of fucking sucks. I'm just gonna let it snap. I wanna see what happens. Oh, yeah, they can just double down in this area. All right. Well, they deserve the four. And there you go. Lisa even says, do you ever regret doing the military MTG crossover promotion? Um, I think you might be thinking of someone else, because I've never done any military MTG crossover promotion. I think you might be thinking of someone else. Alright, when you play a card here, I had a copy of that opponent's hand. I actually am I'm tired of this. <laughs> I'm tired of this one. Maybe it was a dream. Could have been, yeah, I mean. So the reason why I didn't do it is because that it never existed. That I think that's my final answer. Um Alright, let's put the squirrel girl heel here. I mean, I think Colossus is a good waiting move. Cards here are not revealed until the game ends. I mean, that's too funny, right? I don't know who, who gets revealed first. All right, so this is a Heimdall deck? Oh, no. It's got Iron Fist. Okay. I mean, if I'm... I, I, I should be playing here if I want to be. So we think we're going to win the right. We should be playing here because they're they're kind of stacking up this one. I'm snapping it. I'm snapping it. On reveal next turn, both players can move cards to this location. So, did my spectrum not? So 
These are not revealed till the game ends. So. So, so before, I, I'm seeing an enormous stream of uh, folks in chat answering. Um, uh, and I haven't asked the question yet. <laughs> Let me actually ask the question. So, this says, on reveal, give your ongoing cards plus two power. So, if these cards are face down, they're not revealed yet. They're not face up. So, this can't apply that to that. So... The question I had was, when this says cards here are not revealed until the game ends, my assumption was... My assumption was um, that these would reveal in order that I played them, and then this would happen. Yeah, because there's a lot of people who are saying it's not ongoing. Didn't say it was ongoing. Don't think it's ongoing. Totally get that. Because I... It sounds like then um, that in terms of the semantics, the game ending is a post-turn six thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so um, so I we stopped Doctor Strange. Um, so then, okay, so now, now I have another question. Who reveals first at the game's end? Um, highest power player. So... Let me, let me re-specify the question, because that's just kind of reframing my question. Typically, whoever reveals first at the end of the turn is who, at the moment of ending the or pre-reveal, whoever had the highest power on the last turn. All right, hold on. I'm going to go back on the sub-only mode. There's too many people. Too much spam. Okay. So let me, let me, let me finish the question. Here is a statement that some of you may know already. If you have your name glowing, let me actually come to this. If your name is glowing, it means that you currently are winning in the game. And if... I have to get out of this fucking thing. The song drives me insane. Too many things driving me insane right now. I'm gonna pass. I'm actually gonna mute this shit. Alright. So, if last turn I was winning, my name is glowing... I reveal first, you reveal second. So here's my actual question. Given that we have learned that after the game ends, this step happens post turn six. It's not part of the end of turn six. It, it appears to occur after turn six. When the statement, who reveals first, Yes, whoever has the whoever's winning right now is glowing, but is that the evaluation from the end of turn five? Or is this the evaluation post end of turn six? That's my actual question. That's 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 what I'm curious about. Yeah, so again, definitely moving since the person that reveals First, name is glowing, is the one that has control over more locations. There's a ties player with more power. The evaluation only changes at the start of the new turn. Again, that's that's a reframing of my question. My question is, is it evaluating the post-turn five thing? Or is it evaluating the post-turn six? Who's currently winning evaluation? Order for turn six is determined at the end of turn five. You're not no one's listening to me! Ah! Ah! X Rose Keeping says it's evaluated post turn six. Great. That's actually helpful to know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, 
this is the thing that is that is difficult. You know, I, I'm gonna do a diagram. I'm gonna do a diagram. So, um, typically, typically there there is um, actually we'll 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 do it in the game. We'll do it in the game so I can actually point to concretely what's happening. Okay, so so we're gonna stay on this screen. So you'll see that Lonbeck's name is glowing, right? Lonbeck's name is glowing, which means Lonbeck will, would reveal first, but I'm not playing anything. So notice Lonbeck is winning. Lonbeck is winning one location. I'm winning no location, so they are currently ahead. So cards here have minus two power. Let's play this thing here. So now, I and my opponent are tied. We also have the same total amount of power, because there's two plus three is five, I have five, so we're tied. So it randomly picks one person to be the person who reveals first. It's our opponent. I'm gonna go ahead and play Mr. Fantastic, because this is more of me just trying to explain this glowing thing first. So now, I am winning two locations. My opponent is not winning any location, so I'm winning. You see how my name is glowing? So now I am going to reveal first. All right. And so at the end of the game, I'm going to be able to state my actual question again. Delightfully, whenever you play a card here, add a copy to another location. All right, great. So now that we have a brief moment, again, I want to note, I play Captain America and Ant-Man, and I will be revealing first because my name is Chloe. Now, the, the, the actual question that I was asking before was, there is a location that states, after the end of the game, reveal these cards. So that is happening not during turn six. This is happening after, oh shit, I punched the microphone. It's happening after turn six. So if it's happening after turn six, See, no, I reveal first. I reveal first. You only play one card per turn. Terrific. And so, there was the location that said, after turn six, reveal things. So the question is, who then reveals first? Does it follow the same as the evaluation from turn five? All right, I'm gonna ban you. <laughs> not listening to me. Ah, oh, when people deliberately try to not listen to me, it is so annoying. So I guess the highest value play is this here. FN said, follow you, but I think it's the same as turn five. See, that's an actual answer. Whatever's happening in turn five is the same as the evaluation. Or I say the status of turn five is what determines the reveal order on turn six. And I also think the status of turn five is what reveals the reveal order of post turn six play. But I, I, I would not surprise me if the priority shifted after that. I don't think we're gonna get this. Is this sponsored? Junior Ostrich, if you're curious if something's sponsored, you can look in the title and if there's hashtag ad or hashtag sponsored, it is. If it is not, it is not. Um, streamers are required by the uh, FCC to explicitly state that. Yeah, yeah, Albatross, trying to, you're, you're, you're completely spot on, which is that, like, we're getting different answers in each situation, which honestly is okay. 
That's actually okay. What is... And again, what, what frustrates me is when someone is deliberately trying to miss here. I'm just gonna... Probably retreat from this, since I was also going for this. Alright, Cosmo can be upgraded. Alright, we're playing. You know, to, to switch a little to complainer mode, um, I, I find that there's this really extremely common, but also, like, unimaginably fucking obnoxious um, pattern that a lot of humans do. But remember, one-to-one -one interaction is completely different than one-to-few-thousand interactions. So, for instance, here's here, here's an example of the problem of one-to-one -one versus one-to-one-thousand interactions. So, let's say you and I are playing Magic the Gathering together. And there is a play. The person who's sitting here next to me goes, Oh, shit, Sean, here's a good play. And I go, Ooh, actually, that won't work because of this. Ah, right, 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 right. But if you have a few thousand people watching, then you actually get many categories of people that do this. Oh, man, wow, this is, this is the free card style. You get tons of people like flooding in with this kind of information. Which again, in a one-on-one -on -one setting, someone going, ooh, what about this? Ah, that doesn't work. Ah, you're right. That's actually just a fun way to play games with your friends and all the communication is completely fine. On reveal, effects happen twice. Wow. Jesus. Put it over here. Ruin this location. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, like, like, like. That's a completely fine interaction when there's just two people, but when there's, like, just this horde of people. So we will now be able to win that location. Might lose overall. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Oh shit! I need to play this first in that second. We yeah, have the the um, you know, like like the example that I was just talking about in that last circumstance. Wow! I don't even see the nightcrawler there. Oh, it looks like we won anyways. Yeah, in that situation there where I'm like trying to ask a very specific targeted question and I get a bunch of half answers. It's like so. It's just it's just so stunningly annoying. It's like it is like one of the most annoying things. Oh, I'm actually gonna turn on sub mode because there's a whole category of person that's like, alright, it's we're ready to annoy him. So I just put on sub mode, get out of there. But it's, it's this really interesting thing that happens all the time on all sorts of streams where, you know, it, it would be the equivalent if you were sitting with someone and you're like, hey, do you want to watch the first Matrix movie? Or do you want to watch the first Star Wars movie? All right. We know we want to watch both of them. Which one should we start? I think that the most recent Matrix movie was the best one. Yeah, great. So do you do you want to watch? Do you want to start the Matrix series first, or do you want to start the Star Wars series first? Wait, 
No, are you saying that you think the first one is better than the last one? I'm not even fucking talking about that, you know what I mean? And it's, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to do about this. I have no idea what to do about this when you have like a giant audience of people fucking tuning in. I literally don't know what to do. Energy. It's fucking so weird. Morbius. Oh shit, it's fucking Morbin time. How did they know? He must not be good at falling arguments. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. This fragment says it's expectation management, unfortunately. People prioritize speed over thoughtful response. I, I agree with the second sentence. I don't agree with the first. I don't think it's about expectation management. Blade is there. What is this? I just think that it, it's a communication flaw, honestly, that people, I think, should shore up. Because, I mean, I, I genuinely think that, like, there is this sort of um, ingrained, so we're on turn four, so this is five, so then we could do this, and then do both of these following turns. There's this kind of, like, ingrained communication idea, which is that, just in general, if you and I are sitting here having a discussion about something, and we're trying to figure something out, like, I'll use StarCraft as my favorite example, I am. we're trying to figure out what's, what's like, a good strategy. Oh, this would have been a killer place to pop, pop this down. Well... You think that, like, let's say we're trying to discuss what we think is a good StarCraft. What, what's a good TVZ build on Arkanoid? That's a weird map, Arkanoid. What's, how do you think people should play that shit? How do you think they should do that? So, we need to put one here first, this one here first. I think we lose that region. Yeah, like, like, Jesus, I, I'm getting a little distracted because I'm tired. Okay, let me try to make this point. Let me get off this fucking music that was fun the first time I heard it, but now that I've heard it after every match, I want to die. Okay. There's this thing where, let's say you and I are discussing what's a good strategy. Hey, what's a good Terran opening on Arkanoid? Arkanoid is a really weird map. It's been in the rotations and the tournaments recently. What should, what should be a good one? The model of communication that is ideal in this sort of situation is you and I are buddies on the same side trying to solve that problem together. So communication things like, hey, I'm actually muting this because I've heard this music too much. It's not that it's bad music. It's just that I fucking all of it plays. You and I should be buddies trying to solve this problem. So communication like, so I saw this person doing this build. What did you think about that build? Oh, you know, I actually was concerned that it did X, Y, Z thing bad. Yeah, no, it does feel like X is really weak with that opening. I don't know, what about this other build that Nada was doing? Wait, Nada still plays? Yeah, no, he still plays, he's doing this build. Oh, I haven't seen it, could you show it to me? Yeah, sure, here's the game. This is kind of interesting, right? We're, we're just fucking talking about the thing, we're hearing each other, we're responding. But there's this other model of communication um, that is way more taught in school, supported in social settings that people gravitate towards as a result, which is this. If you and I are trying to have a discussion, one of us is trying to win and the other person therefore will lose. So it's this communication style of like, huh, I'm trying to get a good build on Arkanoid. What do you think about this? What, you think that build's good? What are you doing? 
or trying as quickly as possible to give an answer. What do you think is a good build? There's only one good TVZ build and it's this. You know, and it's just like, well, you know, I'm, I, I've seen that build, but what do you think about these other ones? Dude, this is the build. This is it, right? It's this bludgeoning of the other person. And it is so anti-productive. I mean, in addition to feeling shitty, it's just anti-productive. It's not helpful. It's an anti-pattern. And so, like, I always am a big proponent of, like, hey, if you are sitting down and trying to answer a question that someone has, take five seconds to go, hmm, how do I communicate this in the way where we're on the same side? And how do I do this, importantly, really slowly? What is almost always, therefore, a great first response? Reclarifying the question. Huh. So I think that they're asking this. Let me repeat to them what I think they're asking. Amazing first question in like 85 plus percent of, of situations. So, I mean, even coming back to my stupid, like, do you want to watch the first Matrix? Do you want to watch the first Star Wars movie? Oh, is this, like, the first movie that we're going to watch in the series? Or are you just wanting to watch this one off right now? Done! Amazing! You know, like, hey, we're trying to find this new build on Arkanoid. Yeah, are you, are you playing? Or are you just, like, you've just been watching a lot and you're trying to, you know, just asking for some clarification? There's winning here. Gets plus three power at all the other locations. Dude, fucking send in the squirrels. I'm going to armor up this location to win it. It also, maybe it's me, but it feels like in pool two, I'm getting even more challenging and weird and unusual. I feel like I'm getting more of these board things. I think this is going to be the most efficient play here. Mr. Fantastic. And then there's this, there's this, there's this um, secondary problem, <laughs> which is that immediately trying to make fun of the person who is saying this is just too easy, and it just feels like, oh my god, it's like we're right there. Could I please? Could I like a very pretty please with sugar on top? Please shit on this fucking guy. <laughs> Avengers! I think I'm gonna Iron Man here as the last thing, I think. Kazar? Okay. So if I Captain America here. This is four, five, six, seven, 13 plus seven. I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, I thought that that would still work. Fuck. I thought that I would go to 24. All right, I miscounted. All right. 
So that's a counting error. Alright, what time is it? 5.30? Still a little bit more time. Still a little bit more time. But yeah, no, it's it's so easy to just, like, make fun of someone who, who's saying what I'm saying. Like, I absolutely recognize this is an astonishingly easy way to make fun of me. <laughs> it's just, like, it's almost too easy, in fact. You know, or I'm just like, guys, you're not fucking answering my fucking question. To be like, Sean's whoever's glowing. Well, I appreciate the humor in that, man, you know. I'm gonna give a quick ban in those spots. Ooh, I feel like we got very lucky. I think we just keep curving out. We can play lots of things on Machine World. There's not really a good way for our opponent to play in here either. Great. So what do I think about doing this and then this? Four. And then 5-6 here, something like that. I think we should squirrel it. And what does Forge do? Okay, good. Victory. Ethan, it's a Hayden, I see you're visibly and rightfully frustrated. I'm not actually that frustrated. <laughs> I am... I am a bit. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, like a 2. Um, highest power here gets plus 3. I mean... I think I'm going to Ant-Man in the middle, so I'm going to miss for Fantastic there. I mean, I'm talking about a thing that causes frustration, which I think is different being materially super tilted. All right, Squirrel Girl. Well, yeah, no, the, the, it's the sort of self-reinforcing thing where if people are initially unhelpful communication-wise. And then upon being unhelpful communication-wise, I point this out and express irritation. Immediately, it's a natural tendency to be like, all right, well, it's just fucking time to shit on this guy. <laughs> like, So I'm going to go ahead and put the doggy here. Do I want to do that? Going for this side location is actually good. is actually good. I am Iron Man. I think I just do this here and this there. I think this is the right way to try to win this fucker. I'm not going to snap. So that's going to give a, a minor boost to all these things, but I'm going to get a really substantial power boost here. That's going to drop. Okay, nice. Super. Victory. Victory. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, armor. Not a chance. Do I have any more feathers? Where's my missions? God, wow. You, you really run out of ways to grow. Like, really? All right, when you play a card here, dude, have some squirrels. You know what I mean? The thing is that, like, you know, dunking on someone is actually pretty funny when they're doing that. Like... <laughs> it's like if I mispronounced a word. 
Someone called me like, okay, so I, I pronounced rather. I pronounce it rather. I don't know why. But I just say rather. Like I'd rather not. I just say it like that. And a lot of times people are just like, what the fuck were you saying it that way? Well, and <laughs> and there's been times where I'm like, dude, what the fuck? It's a perfectly normal way to say it. And then everyone in chat is just typing R A A A H H H T H E R. Like my chat just fills with it. And that's annoying, but it's also pretty fucking funny. Yeah, if only one card here, it gets huge. All cards must be played there on turn five. I actually don't have an issue just filling up Atlantis. I'm going to do like this, and I'm going to blue marvel here on five. Try to minimize the amount of cards I have here due to Punisher. Yep, look, they, they, they've overcommitted here. So I'm going to put this here. And we'll see what they do. Ethanet, thanks for the five gifted subs. How dare you try to cheer me up? Did I not fucking say I'm not mad? Anyways. Yeah, no, so, so there's just this, like, self-reinforcing thing where if, coming all the way back to the start, if I'm like, hey, here's a question I have, and a bunch of people start not answering the question, and then I respond to this by, like, irritatedly expressing, dude, this is not fucking question, fucking asking. And then people are like, uh-oh, well, fucking... Dana, here's the answer to your question. I think we should watch the first Matrix movie. I'm like, oh! like fuck. So I think very clearly this is the correct move, and we won. Hey, Dara J N rated with 500 people. Thanks, Dara J N. I have not had the pleasure of meeting you, Dara JN, or I have. And I'm a dumbass. Armor. Well, thank you so much for the warm and enormous raid. We are we are grinding ourselves through pool two of Marvel Snap. And increasingly I'm feeling like, oh yeah, we're playing this puppy on Friday. Do I even have any ability to upgrade my puppies? I do not. Hey, Dara JN folks. Welcome. I'm Sean. I really like card games and strategy games a lot. I uh, like a whole damn lot. And now that Marvel Snap is kind of like available for all, I'm playing a shitload here. Yeah. I'm playing it quite a bit. Not not as much as others, because I did uh, have a... Cards here have minus three power. Ugh. I'll show you what's up, like Colossus. But yeah, I just played Bannerlord uh, yesterday, which was hilarious. Cards here have minus two power. I don't even understand what the hell's happening. All right, I'll play this idiot here. Avengers, <laughs> this is like a really brutal game. Uh, oh. This, something like this. So I have to play the bad dog somewhere. I think we're going to win this one. I'm gonna start filling up that one. Doo -doo, doo -doo. 
Ongoing. If any of your locations are empty, plus four power. Huh. So I'm going to put this... Or do I want to stack up here? Can't really do that. So I think we need to win this zone on the left. Is this it? Is this the game? I don't know. I'm just going to say sure. I'm going to say go. Dude, Bannerlord is so fun. We're going to play Bannerlord on or off Steam Tuesday Twitch. Right now, the situation I'm in is that next week, I have some freedom. Oh, I... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I read this so well. All right, so... 22... Lizard for five. Thirteen. So comes four. I don't even remember what the last one was. Squirrel girl. Twenty-one. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. All right, that's fine. Um, this week I'm doing RimWorld Biotech and some snapping. Next week is kind of open. Then the week afterwards we're doing um the new Magic: The Gathering set release. So I'm going to be doing a lot of magic. And then there's like a crap load of... <laughs> oh, shit. There's a crap load of insane releases coming up. So uh, Bannerlord was honestly pretty freaking hilarious. I am interested in playing more. Let's right, put this here. Cable, if you're able. I am no longer Iron Man. You have got to fucking be kidding me. Get me out of here. <laughs> you have legitimately... You need to be fucking shitting me. This is so stupid. Then I'm playing God of War Ragnarok. I really don't know what I'm doing with regards to God of War. Because the thing is that God of War is the kind of game that for this channel gets the worst viewership of all time. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. Oh, it's so shitty. Whoever has more cards here gets plus 100 power. I mean, get out of here. I got that shit. Probably an ants man and a pants man here in Blue Marvel in the middle. Ethernet says, feels like um, God of War is a great game to watch someone play. Feels like a movie. The the concern is that in reality, en réalité, it is very, very, very challenging to get someone who watches that sort of game who doesn't want to pop it open and play it through it themselves. sort of audience we have here is the kind of person who oh hell yeah randomness fuck yeah we have the kind of audience here of gamers that really enjoy simulation-y strategy-ish kind of things there's just it's such a shame my favorite videos of all time have been a finish the game series but I get it yeah I, I, I am more interested in doing something like finishing a um Really, is all I have there 11? Mwah, pathetic. I think I'm going to drop this here because this is a little bit more deceptive as to what I'm up to. Woo! 
Five in the hand. This is weird. I think that the play is Captain America here. And then armor here. I think this is I think this is how we do it. Because this gives me three, four, five, six to this. I'm snapping. Oh snap. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh I got him to retreat. What a victory. What a victory. Yeah, and I think that like th th there's there's audiences of people that are interested in watching through single player games, like start to finish, and that's we're just really not that as much. Rimworld is the kind of game that viewers here love. What does snapping do in this game? It raises the stakes. Fill this location with copies of it. Holy shit. Anyways. Oh, fuck. Yeah, um, snapping raises the stakes. So imagine each game is like a game of poker where you start with small stakes. You start with one in the pot. And I can raise and re-raise, and my opponent can also raise as well, but fold too. Here is granted to the other locations as well. Okay, well I I'm gonna I'm gonna cosmos here. I reveal first. I mean, I'm absolutely gonna specky rum on the left side. Dude, let me tell you, Cronus the snap is pretty great. I do feel pretty limited on the type of decks I can play at the moment. Hear you me, my dude. So this is turn four. So turn five, we're going to be doubling over here. Then six, we're going to be slamming things across. Yeah, the longer I have played Snap, the more fun I have had playing Snap. The gameplay gets more and more and more and more interesting as time goes on. And you know what it does in substitution to make sure that you are given enough time to learn and experience and appreciate the game? It fucking hurls so many fucking wins at you. Oh, this is a terrible idea. Nocturnal Miasma says, oh my god, it's Dana and I freaking love this guy. Thank you, Nocturnal Miasma. It's exactly the kind of Positive encouragement that we thrive upon. Spectrum all on the left is going to be way too busted. All right. Too much positivity, I must dunk. All right, dunks are welcome for one more minute. You're allowed dunks for a single minute. I think, I think I'm about to fucking lose, but I'm gonna snap back. No fear. Because this is gonna give ongoing cards plus two powers. So this is gonna get plus eight, plus eight, plus eight, plus eight. 
right? I think that's relatively good. I think we're we're bumping it by 64 across the board. <laughs> For a boy, then I said I do thoroughly enjoy your channel. My favorite part of the MS Paint lectures. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Victory. All right. There it is. So we'll be live for about 10 more minutes. Ghosty, have a great night. Live for about 10 more minutes. Oh shit, it's squirrel o'clock. Let's fucking go. Celebrate Hell's Kitchen by sending the squirrels in. Yeah, I have myself a somewhat of a hot day tonight. Not gonna lie. Not going to lie. I don't really know. This is that relevant for us. Ten more minutes. Can I go? I can go to bed a decent time. Yeah. Congrats, three degrees. You must be from the UK. What's for dinner? We're going to a fantastic restaurant. Can't tell you the name because I've made that mistake before. <laughs> I'll tell you what restaurant we've been to, but now where we're going. Is this the taco place? Well, the thing is that in uh, the Chaucer in Los Angeles, the taco place is just um, street corner shop arenas. Oh shit, someone is. I don't really care if they draw, though. One location. This is to the right? I thought it was to the left. Oh, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Get me out of here. Yeah, taco stands have the fucking best tacos now. Like, little holes in the walls are the fucking best. Omnipotent Amoeba says, how's the game? I am enjoying the shit out of myself. Epilus says, wait, someone went to the same restaurant as you just to meet you? A long time ago, I said I was going to go to a sushi place that I liked, and someone went there to yell at me for being bad or something. <laughs> Killmonger. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had some bad situations emerge from that. People are awful. People are generally pretty great. People are generally pretty great. Since cards cannot be played here. I can't believe we fucking got Killmonger, man. That's some sick shit. All right, let's keep stacking up mid. What was your response in the situation? I, I didn't know what to do, man. I mean, let me tell you, you think you're gonna be like, yo, man, fuck you, I'm not a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. But in the moment, I was like, oh, I'm just trying to eat. And thankfully, I was inside of the restaurant, someone was like, excuse me, sir, do you need to leave? Ah! Craven? When a card moves here, this card gets plus two power. Wow. 
Artifact. Oh, I'm gonna save fucking Cosmo to turn off Heimdall. Oh, shit. All right, so they're 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 doing a Heimdallians over here. So what does Heimdall say? Does Heimdall say... Is Heimdall over here or is Heimdall over here? Or does Heimdall move things right or does move things left? Move things left? I am Iron Man. All move left. So if I like play this fucking dude here, I think I think I know what I'm doing, but I'm not like a hundred percent confident that I know what the fuck I'm doing. Let's see if we did it. I'm willing to bet these cubes that don't fucking matter on it. Something like this. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Fucking that was awesome, man. What a good dog. Oh my god, what a good dog. Oh my god, that's fucking great. Now I'm not ending on that. I'm going to play again and fuck it all up, man. That was awesome. All right, play the game. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Zen Mordok. So, Danon, you're crazy smart about this stuff. First of all, it's very generous of you to say. Um, because the truth is... Zen Mordok, we're going to come to your question after this game because shit just got alarming to me. Alright, everybody lives. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, yeah, the Punisher. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, dude. Nothing's allowed to happen over here. Yeah, shut up. Okay. Nothing happens to you. I think we fucking lose. All right, let's. Well. They just, if they just have a... Yeah. Just getting out of here. Alright, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. This game's a little too easy to queue back up, but yeah, we'll do one more. One more.
cards here have a 25% chance to be destroyed. You know what? No fear. <laughs> One of my favorite things ever is to just say no fear and to do something unbelievably fucking brash. Ooh, that feels fucking good. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's this one right here. This one right here. And that one over there. Look at this. Look at that. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dude, this Cosmo is going to shit on some things, dude. <laughs> Do you have a favorite card so far? Uh, oh, dude, Orlay, it's so good to see you. Oh, dude, we're an absolute sack of luck. Rawr. Symbol. All right, I better draw some cheap shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Armor. Bing bong. Oh, dude, Arlay, I think my favorite card... I don't really feel like I have access to that many favorite cards at this point. Because I've watched a lot of Jeff Hoagland, and I like, can't fucking get those cards yet. Mag... fucking Mito? Holy fuck a moly. This is on reveal. So he's, he's gonna need to both be here. Alright, very well. How do I snap? I want to snap again. I want... Dude, move all opposing 3 and 4 cost cards to this location? Dude, fuck yeah, I want that shit. I am Iron Man. Okay, so my opponent... is about to reveal... fucking... Oh, I reveal first? Wait, what? Wait, what what the fuck just happened? Why did I not? Wait, 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 wait. What, why did this not pull it over? What does Magneto fucking do? Move all opposing three and four costs. But isn't this? Oh, this is a two cost. Move all opposing three and four costs because I thought we were going to take cable. People are saying he filled it. What what does that have to do with this? Move all opposing three and four cost cards. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, okay. Here here is how my brain interpreted this. My brain interpreted that this is my side and this is the opposing side. And so if I played Magneto, it would grab the opposing side three and four costs and pull them to mine. Okay. Hold on, let me. If a thousand of you are saying the same thing, it's not helpful for you to also hop in and be the thousand first. Okay, so so first of all, that's that was my misunderstanding. But then also, I thought that cable was three cost. So I thought that what was going to happen is I was going to get this two uh, power cable over here. And then by bringing the two power cable over here, they wouldn't have enough and I would have too much. That's that's what I thought was going on. 
And let me tell you, when the game ended, I was like... Like, things just ended, and I had no idea what the hell was going on. 